Hi, this is Dina Trollops, and hey, welcome to my studio. I'm so excited about this new project. Uh, it's it's going to be Santa on a shelf. Look at Santa sitting there with his little mini easel. And um, I'm going to take you step by step through this project today. So we're going to start with our uh, little Arteza mini canvas. Uh, friends at Arteza gave me these uh, supplies to use to show you. I gave them as a gift, and thank you, Arteza. Here's the box. Let's get this open. Now this is the 12 uh, premium acrylic colors. And uh, let's take one out here. Let's uh, the second row. Um, we've got the dark colors, we've got the red colors and the yellows. And that's all we'll need today. We'll need a couple of brushes. Uh, we've got American Painter of Filbert and uh, just a small little liner brush. And if you don't have those, it's okay, but uh, those are the brushes I'll be using. All right, look at this cute little easel. Let's get him open. All right, that wrap off. And uh, do you see that that little easel sits separately from the canvas? How cute is that? Just darling. And these little, uh, look at the easels. It's a working easel. Get him on the, uh, get him on the easel. So go ahead and get your easel out and get your uh, canvas. I've pre-primed mine with the yellow ochre and, uh, and let it dry. Okay, so let's set this aside and let's get painting. All right, so I've mixed up some colors um, and you can do the same thing. This is just some white mixed in with some of the you know, lemon yellow and a little bit of that darker red, the crimson red. We've got the bright red, which is the uh, scarlet, the black, and the green. And uh, let's start with just drawing a little oval here for Santi's face. Just a simple little oval with a pencil. And uh, in the middle of the oval, or would his eyes go? Okay, in the center we'll have a mouth. And that's all we need to start our Santa. Super easy. And uh, now uh, go ahead and, and fill in with kind of a peach color that you can mix with the titanium white, a little bit of lemon yellow, and uh, just fill in the oval. If you cover his uh, face up, you can just barely see where the eyes will go, but they're just kind of in the center. And because this is a kind of a little fun Santa, he doesn't have to be perfect, but he's but that'll kind of show his personality and his cuteness if he's not exact. So uh, now just drawing a little hat, a little triangle with the uh, crimson red. And uh, you can use a scarlet red or you can mix an orangey red, whatever you like. This is your Santa, and uh, he looks a little like an acorn now, doesn't he? Like an acorn man. And I'm kind of thinking my husband is uh, Norwegian, so I'm going to make uh, kind of a Norwegian-inspired Santa, but um, your Santa could be Hawaiian Santa, Puerto Rican Santa, Oregon Santa, Kansas Santa, Iowa Santa, whatever you like. All right, so now, uh, now let's go in, now that we've got a hat started, let's get a body going on Santa. And my Santa's going to have wide shoulders because he's, he's a nice big Norwegian. Get him uh, just fill in, just a uh, little nice and easy. Dip your brush into that, that red. And again, whichever red you like. In fact, your Santa doesn't even have to be, you know, red and green. Your Santa could be black and white, purple, yellow, whatever you like. So you might be wondering, uh, now I'm going to get the green going here. So that green is the pale green, the RTs of pale green. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint that over on one side and we'll leave a little bit of room for his beard. But you might be wondering why I did a yellow ochre underneath, and that's to uh, tone the canvas and establish kind of a middle value so all the other values can be judged from that. And it just kind of uh, gives a little warmth to the painting and and just uh, nice and easy. You saw that little streak of red? Uh, just, just incorporate right into the painting. It adds a uh, handmade touch and you can see that it was uh, you know it's it's done by hand all right now on the darker side let's get that single green this is a very transparent color really pretty um, just uh, lightly just get that in and let it touch it onto the onto Santa's hat and just make some little wiggles where Santa's beard might be just just kind of lay it in there and uh, 
notice that we're only going to use just this one brush to paint all of Santa. The only time we're going to use that really tiny little brush is just uh, maybe for a little bit for his eye or just a, uh, for sure we're going to do it. Uh, going to need a little spot to, um, to do the signature. But see, I just took some water and just rinsed uh, my brush in the water and then um, and then I just uh, took out some paint. Now I'm taking a gray that I mixed with our Mars Black and the Titanium White. I'm just kind of laying in some, uh, a nice little beard for Santa. And you see that I'm allowing, since we're painting this wet into wet, I'm going to get these wonderful other colors that are, these tints that are, that are coming on from uh, where, the, where our gray touches the other wet paint that we have. Love that effect that it gives, kind of a rainbow color, and adds more interest to Santa. Because who wants a boring Santa, right? All right, so here's now I'm adding, I made a dark, dark red by taking the um, crimson red and adding a little bit of the ultramarine blue so we can make a shadow and make Santa look three-dimensional because we want our Santa to... Uh, we want him to be kind of lifelike, but yet kind of a bit like a cartoon too. Kind of fun and friendly. No scary Santas. We can have a serious Santa, but no scary Santa. Alright, so now I'm going to put a little bit of... Let's define Santa's nose and this color I made with the, um, the Brit Sienna. A little bit of the yellow ochre. A little bit of the titanium white. Let's just go ahead and give a little dimension to Santa's face. And now um, the important thing with faces is that uh, we always have to be sure to blend. So take it, I uh, rinsed my brush off in the water and uh, you know, I took the color off. Let me get a little color back on there. There we go. Get the tip of his nose going. All right, so now the important thing here is to, um, is to do some good blending. And um, because on our faces we have the planes of the face and everything is soft, I'm just going to go in and gently blend this area here and then on the shadow side and then let's establish the eye socket, top of Santa's head, a little bit near his uh, lower part of his mouth. And then what we can do now is we can uh, just lay in with our, the black. Laying in some eyes for Santy. There he goes. And let's just define the bottom of his nose a little bit more. There we go. Now Santy can see us. All right, now a little bit of uh, light. Let's get some light going on Santa. And the top of the nose and his chin area, the mouth and the chin. And again, it's important to get this blended. So let's just take it, just kind of taking the brush and lightly touching the brush just along the edges. I'm not going back over the center. And this gives Santa the idea of that his cheeks and, and the other parts of his face are coming forward. So I'm just working around on the edge. Just take your, take your time and, and then just blend it as you like. And you know, your Santa is going to have its own personality. So don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine because it, uh, it needs to look like yours. There we go, Santa's nose. And uh, now taking a look, let me rinse my brush off. And uh, let's give him a little bit of uh, the front of his shirt. Just drawing with our same filbert brush. This filbert brush is so um, very versatile because you can... You can blend with it, you can draw with it, all kinds of things. Get a little bit of red on the brush. Let's get a soft edge here on the back side of the placket for his shirt. Okay, that's good. All right. And just a couple buttons here. We've got button, 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 button. Nice and easy. All right, there we go. All right. And uh, again, this is acrylic paint. You could do this in oil paint um, just as easily as an acrylic. There's no, uh, no, nothing that says it has to be acrylic. This is just it's super fast drying and you know, easy to use. Let's give Santa some highlights on his beard. I'm going to be careful 
and not cover up these other pretty beautiful colors that we've established. Just kind of soften that edge. There we go. And you know, I need to give Santa a mouth here too, so let's, uh, there we go, here we go, Santa. A sweet little mouth for our Santa. And that's looking a little bit like a lipstick mouth, so let's go and let's go blend that out a little bit. There we go, that's better. All right, now, in looking, let's see what else we need to do. I think we need to get a little bit more of some highlights in the beard and um, on his hair. Just kind of lay on super thick paint, just dabbing it on, letting the brush kind of dance across the painting. And this will be the idea that uh, Santa's beard, when the light hits it, we want it to be lighter. All right, very good. Just kind of blend and get that going. All right, that's looking good. And however you want Santa's beard to go, you know, or maybe maybe Santa will be freshly shaven. That can work too. Get a thick little layer here, some highlights, get some thick on his pom-pom, and then a nice little thick mark on his beard. Trying to just let the gesture of the brush give the feeling of the texture. All right, very good. Now it's time to sign. So uh, now I'm getting out that liner brush. So we haven't used it yet, but now we're gonna use the liner brush and I'm just adding some water to the paint to make it really thin so it will flow. I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name. I sign with my first initial and my last name, D. Tollefson. With this little brush. All right, get the bow, so in. Right, very good. Be sure to sign your painting because uh, if you give it as a gift or you we'll give a little, we'll give them a little darker in the eye. There we go. Um, if you put your uh, Santa on a shelf, you're going to want to be sure to sign your Santa uh, because uh, people who you give it to or uh, just people who come and see it are going to want to know who made it. And uh, I'm going to get these gloves on now because I don't like to get messy and I want to paint the edges. So I'm just putting on some gloves. And these uh, gloves will help protect my manicure so we don't uh, get, get it uh, messed up with this acrylic paint. All right, so just hold the canvas like I am on the edge. And you want it to wait and just paint, you know, kind of a couple different corners at a time, a couple edges at a time, that'll work too. But I like to kind of do it all at once. So get that phthalo green going. I want to take this moment to thank Arteza for the gift of this, um, these little mini canvases with easels and the acrylic paint. And I want to also thank you for watching, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. And until next time, this is Dina Tollefson. Enjoy your Santa on a shelf.